One of my favorite parts of the day is first walking into our penguin habitat in the very early morning and saying good morning to all of our birds. And oftentimes a lot of our birds will vocalize back and it's a really special bond that we have. I have been working with the penguins for about 17 years. And believe me, they do not get old. It is always fun watching them. I could sit down here and watch them all day if I had the time in my schedule. They recognize our voices. They recognize our face. They know who we are. Actually, part of the pandemic has been really interesting. When we started wearing face masks, we weren't really sure if they would respond to us the same way. But they definitely know who we are. They recognize us. And it's a really special relationship that we have with them. It's almost like they're part of our families. The penguins here at the aquarium have a very enriching life. We have always taken the penguins out just for their own welfare, mental stimulation, physical exercise. It's just a really great way to enrich the penguins. When we first posted that video of Wellington in the Amazon, everyone went bananas. They just thought it was the cutest thing. I think seeing the penguins in a role that the guests usually are is really fascinating to everyone. And so that's been really fun. We've been able to take them not only to different areas of the aquarium, but also to other areas around the city. They saw Sue the dinosaur, which is an enormous dinosaur that they have never seen. They've also gotten to run on the turf of Soldier Field, which is really fun. Feel the wind on their feathers and the grass on their feet, which is a really fun experience for them. So behind me right here are two species of penguins. Here at the aquarium, we have Magellanic penguins and Rockhopper penguins. The Magellanic penguins are a little larger. They have a white C on their head and white bands across the front, whereas the Rockhopper penguins have the little yellow crested feathers. So that's how you're able to tell them apart. Over half of penguin species in their natural environment are currently declining. And there's lots of different reasons for that. Uh, but currently 10 of the 18 species are declining. And so it's really important that we are able to step in and help these populations out. The two species that we have are listed as vulnerable and near threatened. Um, so they're not doing as poorly as some species. Currently, the most endangered species out in their natural environment are the African penguin, the Galapagos penguin, and the yellow-eyed penguin. Right now, we're in the midst of penguin breeding season. Uh, so we have three Magellanic penguin chicks. So each and every day, while they're still very young, we're checking them every single morning. We're making sure that they are growing, that they're healthy. And of course, they are still currently being reared by their parents at this point. Working with chicks is probably the best part of my job. They're just absolutely delightful to work with. And it's really amazing to be able to work with them on day one and then be able to work with them, you know, 10 years plus later and really see how they develop and how they change throughout their lifetime. We have rock hopper penguins are up in this center area. And over to the left, we have some of our Magellanic penguins with that white C on their head, the bands across the front. So Wellington is tucked behind this wall. He says no autographs right now, please. Wellington is a 33 year old Southern rock hopper. Here at the aquarium, we have the ability to care for them long past they maybe would live out in their natural habitat. Um, and as they age, they have some of the similar ailments that you and I might have. He had cataracts and we were able to provide him with cataract surgery, which really helped to increase his quality of life so he could see better as he maneuvered around the exhibit. In people, they can actually do the procedures with, with them awake often or just like lightly sedated. But with our animal patients, it's such a tiny eye. It's basically microscopic surgery is what eye care has to do. They have specialized microscopes and equipment to kind of make a tiny little incision in the cornea and get in there and remove the cataract. So my job is to keep Wellington anesthetized so that he's not moving at all when they're doing that um, and making sure that he's breathing well and his heart rate's good. With penguins, they have so many little feathers. They actually get hot 
when they're anesthetized. So we'll put like ice packs on their feet and ice packs on their wings to kind of keep them cool. The coolest part about the surgery is literally once they wake up, you've restored vision and it's like a brand new penguin. Um, and what trainers have kind of described it to me as before, when they would be feeding Wellington or talking with him, he kind of wouldn't really see where they were. And after surgery, when they talked with Wellington, he'd actually look up at them. So um, once they told me that, I knew the procedure was a success. We have been overwhelmed with the outpouring of support and joy that all of these field trips and Wellington have brought across the world. Our goal here at SHED is to really spark compassion, curiosity, and conservation for the aquatic animal world. And this really helps us to be able to get people interested in penguins, what they can do to help penguins out in their natural environment, and for the environment in general. So Wellington is an ambassador for the species out in the wild. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.